Welcome to BDA Online Tutor. This is an online platform that deals with business data analytics. If you are watching this video on YouTube, I ask that you subscribe, you like, and uh, you ring on the notification bell. And uh, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. And uh, also like the videos. And uh, we also offer online classes at a very affordable prices. And uh, we have various packages that you can enroll for. I think somewhere there you can see the packages with their respective prices. So you can lie us with me because also you can see my contacts on the screen somewhere. You can lie us with me and uh, I'll uh, Here is an introduction to loan amortization. Uh, as you can see that uh, we have been given the steps, the steps to loan amortization. Actually, I'll not, group, I'll not go through them uh, because uh, during the course of doing the examples, actually we'll be following the steps. So, if you maybe want to read, uh, you can pause and uh, read the steps. Maybe if you understand better when something is uh, written than being told, okay. Okay, you can pause the video and uh, read the, the details. We'll use the PMT formula and the if formula. This if formula will come in where it is dynamic, where it's dynamic, where it's, where it's dynamic. So we shall just start straight forward. We'll go to question one, and it says, Masha Mazuri, a medium sized company, is considering acquiring a 45 year loan of 350,000. Given an interest rate of 6.2%, prepare a monthly loan amortization schedule. So I'll come here, and then I write the loan details. Loan details. And as I, I showed you how to automate the custom list. So up to the up to the periodic payments, then I I'll take this and I merge and center and I do control bolt. I can also do alt HBH just for top border. So the loan amount you have been told is uh, three hundred and fifty thousand three fifty. I'll change first from because it's in percentage, I'll change from that into cash so i'll come here and i do cash okay the 350 one two three enter so the years we have been told is 45 enter number of periods per year because you are preparing a monthly it will be 12 and uh this one i like it to be in a uh, in a uh, number so i'll take a number format or the number of periods per year it will be equals to the periods per year times the 45 the number of years so it's 540 the annual rate we've been told is 6.2 shift percent so the periodic rate it will be the 6.2 divided by the periods per year so that's divided by 12 and i can also change this to percentage and i do two decimal places and the balloon payment here, we have, we have not been told about the loan payment, so it will be zero. And uh, the periodic payment, uh, so this is what we are looking for. We start with a negative sign, PMT. You write PMT. Press tab. So the rate, we are taking the periodic rate, that is uh, that one, comma. The number of periods is 540, comma. The present value is the loan amount comma the future value is we have been told is zero comma because we have no the type when you are not told the type you always assume the type to be a, at the end so we'll put a zero and then we close our bracket we do control enter and uh, we see that our periodic payment also known as pmt is uh, 1926 so we'll come to prepare a, a loan amortization schedule so this loan amortization schedule will be as this way. So we'll start with the periods, start with the periods tab, then the our PMT tab, then our interest rate, our interest payments, our interest payments tab. I'll do this shift interest payment. Payments. Also, our interest payment is known as IPMT, right? 
Then from there, we we'll go to our principal reduction. Principal reduction. Principal reduction. Then from principal reduction, we we'll go to the balance. Now our balance. I'll take all this and I do control bolt and I do alt HBH that way. So we shall uh, we shall now key in our values. Okay, our periods we shall start from zero, enter one, control enter, then you come here. When it turns black, you take on the right click, you take it up, you bring it down again and you leave the right click, then you come to series, you come to column, and uh, the stop value is 540, 540, and you do okay. Okay, so our PMT will start in year one, so it will be equals this one. And uh, I'm fully locking it, control enter by F4. Then I double click, it goes down. So our interest payment, before we calculate our interest payment, we'll take our balance here. So our balance here will be equal to our loan amount, our loan amount, control enter. All right, Nicholas says he'll not he'll not make it. So our interest payments, our interest payments equals equals to our loan amount here times times the periodic rate. And the periodic rate I'm looking at is F4. Then I do control enter. Then I take it down. All right, then I come to principal reduction. Principal reduction will be our PMT minus our interest payment. Control enter. So our balance here will be our balance at the top minus the principal reduction. Control enter. Then I'll do this way. So this one, you see it's J10. So here it's 10. Here is 10. You can see from here. So it has multiplied the, the second one. Okay. Then I'll come here. Because just multiplication, I I click, I double click to go down, I also double click to go down. Then I press control, down arrow to see the last bit of it and you see it's a zero, zero. So at the month of the 540 month, our loan amortization will be over control up to go to the top. So this one is basically, uh, this one payments are uh, at, the, at the end of the period. And uh, it's just as simple as that. You just have to confirm if, you, if there is no balloon payment, it means the closing balance will be zero. And we have just seen seen that one here. Here it's zero, the 540 year. So we go to loan amortization part two. Your client who runs a small grocery store has approached your bank for a loan. The loan amount is 100 and the interest is 8%. The loan period is five years. However, the loan agreement has a clause that that is among the implicit terms of the loan requiring Mama Linda to pay a balloon payment of 8,000 at the end of the loan. The loan is paid in advance. You see this one is paid in advance and we have been asked to prepare a quarterly loan amortization schedule. So I'll come here, I'll do loan details. Loan details and I showed you how to create this custom list. So I've already created my custom list here. I'll just take down. And here I saw I see loan details. So I, I go back and I take this one. I do merge and center and I do control bolt. So we've been told our loan amount is a hundred thousand, one hundred, one, two, three, tab. Our loan years is five. Our periods per year is four because it's quarterly. So our number of periods it will be equal to the four times times the, the years times the five, enter. So our annual rate we've been told is 8%. Our periodic rate will be equals to our annual rate divided by periods per year, that is divided by four. And I can change it to, sorry, sorry, I, I took the wrong one. I can change it to percentage, can change it to percentage. And I do two decimal places. Right, then we go to our balloon payment, we've been told is 8,000. 
control enter and I'll remove the percentage part. I'll put in cash and I I'll correct now because eight thousand. So I will go to our PMT. We start with a negative sign, negative PMT, we press tab button. So our rate, our rate, our periodic rate is two percent, comma. Our number of periods is twenty, comma. Our present value is the loan amount, the hundred, comma. And our future value is uh, the eight thousand. And you see, even in the formula, you must put it as a negative. So it will be negative eight thousand, comma. And the type, the type will be told is paid in advance. So it's paid at the beginning of the period. You can just click here. You see, payment is timed at the beginning of the period. So you you press one. One now not zero, and you close your brackets and you, you do control enter. So, so that is uh that's our PMT. So we have to prepare now the the loan amortization schedule and the loan amortization schedule. So under under paid in advance, we we shall have we shall have our PMT. First we have our periods. Sorry, periods. Tab shift our PMT. Tab then. Here now the principal reduction will come first. Or you can just call it balance, balance at the beginning. So that is a balance at the beginning. All right, then we have our interest, interest payment. Tab, then we have our balance at the end, balance. Now, CF balance CF okay. I'll come, I'll take all these. I do control bolt, I do alt HBH for a top border. So we shall start from zero. Tab one. Tab I come to this end. I mean I come to this yum. I when it goes, I I right click, I take up, I take down. Then I can I do series. Then uh, the stop value is 20. And I must remember to put in the columns, not the rows, and I do okay. Yeah, so our PMT will start in year one. Our PMT will start in year one equals, so equals to this one. And I'm fully logging it because that that that's what we'll be paying monthly. Then I do, I double click, isn't it? So we, our balance that we started with equals the 100, control enter. So our balance BF here, our balance BF here, it will be equals the 100 here minus, Minus the PMT because the PMT is paid in advance. Now I do control enter. Then I'll come to the interest rate equals our periodic rate and um, for it times the uh, our now our balance BF control enter. Then from there, now we come to our balance CF. It will be the our balance BF shift plus our uh, interest payable because the interest has been calculated twelve the year. So here, I just come, I do this way. Don't worry, we're just starting under uh, our interest. I must look if I locked it. I must look if I locked the periodic interest and I see here I've locked. So I'll just double click. Okay, then we come to our balance here. Then I also double click. All right, then I do control down arrow. You see the balloon payment at the end will be 8,000. So that one, that one will be paid at the end. At the end, so this is a quarterly. These are quarterly. These are quarterly. You, you can always name it. You can always name it quarterly. Quarterly loan. Amortization. Schedule. Control enter. Then I select that one. I do margin center. Then I do control bolt. Isn't it? Now that one is the quarterly. The quarterly and this one is in advance. The first one here was uh, was not in advance. This one was paid in arrears. So we'll go to part three. And uh, our Zoom is almost running out. And uh, like we have uh, five minutes, five minutes. So this one is simple, simple. So I'll come here. I do loan details. Control enter. Then I come. Those have already created a custom list. So our PMT is our last one. Then I'll do this and I do margin center. Then our loan amount, 
we have been told is 575,000 in the equation. And um, a monthly one. So the loan years, we have been, we have been we obtain a 30 year loan. We have been told the loan is 30. Tab the number of years 12 because we are creating a monthly one. So total number of periods is this one times the 12. Control enter. Sorry, not in cash, not in cash. So I'll change here to number and I can do no decimal place. So, okay, our annual rate here is uh, we've been told is 4.75 percent so our periodic rate will be this one divided by uh, our period and uh, then our balloon payment will be not we've not been told then so we come to our um, pmt we start with a negative pmt tab or, or rather you can just start with a positive is equals to pmt tab then our, we remember we take our periodic rate the number of periods is 360. Our present value is this one. Comma, our balloon payment is not there. Comma, and the type you have not been told, so we'll take us at the end. We, we control enter. You see, it comes in a negative, so you will just put a negative there. Control enter. So that one is the our PMTs per month. Per month, isn't it? So we will come. We'll come to create our loan amortization schedule. I can just come here because it's a, I do control home because it's a, just the same thing. I just take this one, I do control C. I come here, I do control V, right? So I think we can finish this one before, before actually the time lapse. Because it's just simple. So the period we start from zero, tab one, control enter, then you come, you right click, you hold on the right click, you take up, you take down, you leave, you come to series and uh, you call up. And our stop value is 360. 360, you do enter. All right, our PMT always remember it starts from year one, you go to this one, and I do a four to fully lock it. Then I do this way, I double click to go down. So our balance here equals this one, this one, the 575, enter. Then our um, interest payment will be equals this one. Remember this one, I'm not locking times. Times now the periodic rate, the periodic rate I'm locking, control enter. Then I can do two decimal places. Then I do this way, then I come here equals this one minus uh, this one, control enter, then I do this way, then I come here equals this one minus the, this one, I do control enter, then I double, then I do control down arrow, you see the last state is zero zero because there is no there is no balloon payment. Okay, we have like a one minute. So we will lo log out and log in again. And uh, so we'll go to our third question, actually our fourth one. So our channel, let make sure you subscribe to our channel. And uh, like you can see, we have uh, we have different packages. You have different packages. We have the starter package where we give you the theoretical notes and uh, the premium package and the light packages. And uh, my number is there and my email. You can always conduct me and uh, we'll see how it goes. So we'll continue with our class. I've seen that uh, the win is in. Okay, no, here, here is where we'll be using the if, the if formula. Here is where we'll be using the if formula. It's a very simple one. And uh, so you've been requested to prepare dynamic monthly, monthly, quarterly, and semi-annually and annual loan amortization schedule. The loan details have been provided a three-year loan or 500,000 rate, 6% per annum. So we will start here, we'll be told that we prepare our, so we, we, can, we, we come here, we'll come here. So we have shift monthly. Stop, then we have a quarterly. Stop, then we have a, what else? We have semi-annually, semi, -annually. semi 
I do this annually. Then we have annually. Isn't it? So uh, monthly, we also, we also have 12 months. Quarterly is four, semi-annually is two, and annually is one. Control enter. Right, then we have, uh, what else do we have here? Then, we, so we've been told to prepare a dynamic one. So we shall come here to loan details, loan details, loan details, control enter. Then I'll take down, I'll take down annual periodic. So up to their periodic payments and I'll do this way. I'll do margin center. Then I do control bolt. Yeah, and I'll just spread out so that it looks good. So the loan amount, the loan amount, the loan amount we've been told is 500. One, two, three, control enter. Then the loan years we've been told is three, three years, control enter. The period per year we will not write first and uh, the number of period also will not write first. We'll come to the our Annual rate, we've been told is six shift percent, control enter. Mm -hmm. Then our, what else, our periodic rate will calculate there. The balloon payment is not there, so it's zero. So we shall come here and uh, we do something like control bolt, then frequency. Frequency, then we press tab. Then here I'll go to data, I'll go to data here. Then I go to data validation, go to data validation. Then I come here, I, I select list because I'm the one creating the list. And so the list, I, I want to source it from my worksheet. So this one is the list. This one is the list. Okay, after I've sourced it there, I do okay. I do okay. So we have created a, a here, so you can select here monthly. So I'll come to periods by year. Here is very careful. Now here is where if comes in equals then i write if i press tab so <clears throat> they ask me the logical test so the logical test i want to say that if i if the our frequency here our frequency here if this one i do a four on it equals equals to monthly here monthly also i do a four if value now i do comma if value is true, I want the periods per year to be to be twelve, isn't it? I also do a four on it, and I I put another comma. I introduce another if. I press tab if. Now our frequency. I do a four equals to quarterly. I do a four on it. Comma value if true. I want it to be four. I do a four need also I do comma and introduce another if I press tab if our frequency here f4 equals to semi annually f4 comma then it's a, our value will be two our value will be two our value will be two and I do a four need then comma I introduce another if press tab if our so it's that here if our Monthly, I do a four equals to annually. I do a four comma. Then our value will be one. Will be one, isn't it? I do a four. Need I press comma. So now, if the value is false here, you can see here. If value is false, I'll press shift and I do quotation marks. Two quotation marks this way. Then I close my bracket. Then I do control enter. I've not closed all the bracket, yes, but uh, you can just click on yes. So you see our frequency here. So like we can come here and we do like this. You see annually. So our periods per year is one. You come here, you do semi-annually, it's two. And uh, you, also do, you can also do quarterly. You can see it's four. So our periods per year it will be equal to our loan years times our number of periods, control enter. And our periodic rate will be equals to our rate divided by the periods per year, this one here, periods per year. 
And then I'll do, I'll come to home, I do percentage, and I do two decimal places. All right. So that one actually we've created. We've created. So we can we can test for monthly first. We come here, we do monthly because it's the lowest, the lowest. You can see everything has changed. The number of let me let me put this one in red. Also under the periodic rate, also in red and uh, also the period by uh, this one in red. This one are the values that we are changing. Then the values that are changing. You see when it comes to annually, the the rate becomes that one. So it's as simple as that. So we will come to um our loan amortization schedule, our loan amortization schedule. And uh, because we have not been told if it's monthly or uh, it's a, uh, or if it's a paid per, in advance or uh, in arrears, so we'll assume it's paid in arrears. I do control C, I copy, I come here, I come here. I do, uh, let, me, let me put it somewhere here. I do control V and uh, so our periods, our periods here we start with zero, then tab, then we come here. Now here we introduce another if statement. If, if I press tab, if, so the logical test, the logical test here is I am under, I am under here, the, you see this one, this three, the number of periods, the number of periods. So I'll take if this one. So this is the logical test and I do a four because I don't want to, it to move down. If 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 our number of periods, I press shift is uh, greater than, it's greater than, it's greater than, uh, it's greater than our above value here, comma, so that's the logical test. If the value is true, then we take this one, this K, shift plus one, comma, and if the value is false, then I, uh, uh, we do the quotation marks, the two quotation marks, then I close my bracket, then I do control enter. So I'll take it up to where it, where it goes. It, I'll take like up to 36. You see, it becomes that way. I do control home. You see now, this one is three. This one is three. So when I come here and I do like uh, monthly, let me say monthly, you see that it increases the the values. So I wanted us to play with monthly so that we can know where it is. You see it reaches 36. And then I control home to back. You see when I change, when I change here, let me say it's uh, quarterly. You see the period become 12. And uh, if, if it's semi, it's semi annually, they become six. Isn't it? Then, so we'll, we'll first uh, look for our PMT here equals, then uh, negative sign PMT, press tab. So our rate is the periodic rate, comma. Our number of periods is the six year, comma. Our present value is the loan amount, comma. Our future value is zero. Comma. You can always write zero, or you can just if you have like you can just do this way. You can just put zero, comma, and the value is zero also at the end. Then you shift to close your bracket. Then you do control enter. So that's our PMT, our PMT. So we'll come our other PMT here, and we also introduce an if statement first. If you press tab, then I'll take our periods. If our periods equals to, now I'll take this one, the way I was doing this one. If our period equals to this one, this one is like, it writes no value. So if our period is equal to this one, you press comma. So what if what if the value is true? If the value is true, then uh, we want it to be also the, the zeros. Then I press comma. And if the value is false, I want it to take the uh, periodic payment. Then I press F4, I lock the periodic payment, and then I close my brackets, I do control enter. Isn't it? Then I'll do this way. I'll do this way. I'll do this way. So that's just the same thing, just the same thing. 
like what you are doing here, we can change here. Like uh, we say, let's say monthly. You see, for monthly it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes up to thirty six. You see, uh, PM team. It's very simple thing. It's very simple. When you like, when you choose annually. Let me sorry. Annually, you see, it just remains the from the third one, from the third one, from the third one. So we come to our our interest, our interest expense here. We pressed also equals. We start with the if press tab. So our logical test will use our PMT if our PMT here equals to nothing. So nothing I've told you is double quotation marks, comma. So if if our our PMT here is, is equals to double quotation marks, I also want here. If the value is true, you give me double. You give me double quotation marks. You give me nothing, comma. And if the value is false, if the value is false, now you'll give me the periodic rate. This one I do a four. Shift times our balance, our balance here, our balance here. We have not created the balance, but it's just that way. Control enter. Then here I do equals. Now I, I bring in our balance. Control enter. That way. Then I'll come and I do a, a double click. Don't worry. So our principal reduction, our principal reduction here will be equals to our PMT minus our interest, control enter. Then I can do two decimal places. Right, so now that our balance will be, will be equal. Also, for it first, for it first, for it first. Also for our principal reduction, I want it, uh, I want also to, to put a value so it will be equal if I bring the if statement. So I will use our, our interest. Payment. If our interest payment equals to nothing, I've told you our double double quotation mark is like you say it's nothing there, but there's a value there. If it's equals to double quotation, then it's nothing also, comma. But uh, if I uh, if it's not equal to double quotation, then I want you you take uh, the our PMT minus our interest paid. Control enter. Then I do a double click. Sorry, a double click. Yeah, so I'll come to our balance. Our balance here equals. Also, I'll introduce the if if statement. Now I'll use the principal reduction. If our principal reduction equals to nothing, comma, I want it to be nothing, comma. But if it it's not equals to nothing, I want it to take uh, the five hundred here above minus the principal reduction. This one. I do control enter, then I do this one. All right. So, so I'll come to change here. I can change here actually to monthly. It will go the whole thing up to 36. And uh, this one is just, uh, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me create this one properly. So that I you don't see as if it's, it's it's just like zero. It's because some some values are at 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 two decimal and some are at one. So I'll select that one. Then I press Control Shift down arrow. All right. Then I'll come. Sorry, it has gone. Control Home. I select from here the values. I not select the years. Then I do Control Shift down arrow. Then I come to here. I can put just in currency because everything here is currency. Everything here is currency. Everything here is currency. I can come here. I can come here. Then I can control down. Let me come to 36 first. You see, at, 30, at 36, <coughs> it will be zero, zero. <coughs> also, you can change our frequency here. Let, let's say annually. This one is just because the values are big. You see, our annually will be also be ending at a three year because it's a three year loan. Just as simple as that. 
and I also you can do semi annually. So this one is the dynamic one, the dynamic one, the dynamic one. It's a very simple concept. And um, let me see uh, something first. So like it's just a, that's basically what investment of uh fifteen million. And uh, let me tell you a secret with Gaznet. Uh, when you just see this value is actually big, you work it in thousands. Actually, that one will have helped you a lot. You work in thousands, you don't work in these millions, isn't it? That one, even if you are at the lower level there down, that one was the trick. So the loan is for 48 months at an annual interest rate of 15%, which the bank translates at a monthly rate of uh, 15 divided by 12. Uh, this one is the, the monthly rate of the periodic rate. The payments are to be made at the end, at the end of each of the next 48 months. You can see the at the end, that one is also something you take. And you've been told now you calculate the, the monthly payment of the loan. Actually, here they have simplified you. There back we were doing our sales to find our periodic rate, but here we've been given the periodic rate. So you, you just go directly equals PMT. And uh, if you want properly, you start with a negative so that it do, doesn't disturb. So you press tab, sorry, sorry. Minus, you can just start with minus even without is equals, then PMT. So the rate we've been told we are using our periodic rate, it's a one. 0.25 shift percent, isn't it? Comma, and the number of periods we've been told to be 48, isn't it? So 48, I'm just uh, typing it in, comma. The present value, this is this, the actual loan amount and we've been told is 150,000 because we are working in thousands, isn't it? 150, one, two, three, four, And because it's the monthly payment of the loan and it's very simple, you can just create like, uh, let us use the, the correct one, isn't it? Comma, sorry. So we are here, isn't it? We press comma. So the future value, you can put zero, you press comma because there's no there and the period is at the end, you've been told at the end, you close your brackets, you do control enter. So actually that is the PMT per month, isn't it? Assume that uh, you have the following options to negotiate with the bank. There, there is option one, you've been given option two, and uh, you've been given option three, isn't it? Determine which one is the most favorable to the investor. So the most favorable to the investor is that one that uh, the investor will pay slow, isn't it? That is the first thing. And you've been told to use a two-way data table, isn't it? All right, we can, we can now, but uh, you see the problem with this Excel is that uh, it must be dynamic. So our, our payment here, this one is not dynamic because these values we have just had typed them in, isn't it? So we have to create a, a dynamic one first equals, then I do negative PMT, I press tab. So the rate here, the rate here we've been told is 15, isn't it? But it's 15 divided by 12, isn't it? Because we are looking for the periodic rate and the number of periods but uh, this 48 months won't won't work, won't work. So we will create a small thing. Uh, we, we call this loan details. Because of the month in front, it won't work. Actually, it only takes values. That one I showed you how to create a custom list. I'll do con Alt HMC, Control Bolt. So we are working in thousand, Control Shift Plus. Okay. I'll do this. Control X to cut, Control V. And let's say our values are in, you open 
quotation single in shilling dot thousand. Sorry, that one is all thousand. And I close, isn't it? Control enter. I can do that. Control bold. So it's in shillings thousand. So the loan amount is 150. One, two, three, isn't it? The loan years. The loan years. So we will use the uh, 48. So the period per year, isn't it? The number of periods, not the period per year, because the period per year is 12. And the number of periods is 48, isn't it? We are using the, the first one here, what we were given here at part one, because the this part one here is what will make us do this part two, isn't it? So the annual rate, actually the annual rate we've been given 15, shift percent, isn't it? And uh, the periodic rate, it will be equals the 15, Divide by the number of the period per year, isn't it? So that you get a monthly rate, and uh, you can change it to percentage and uh, add add two decimal places. The balloon payment is the future value, and we don't have, isn't it? And the PMT is what we are looking for. So negative PMT, we press tab. So our rate, we are using our periodic rate. Actually, we are given up there, comma. Our number of periods is the 48, isn't it? You press comma. Our present value is the loan amount, this one. You press comma. Our future value is, you can press this one. Here, you press comma because it's zero and it's at the end. You close your brackets, you do control, enter, isn't it? It's just the same thing, but uh, it's like uh, the above one here. It's times, times 1,000. So you remember your answer times 1,000. And I'll widen. And because I'll do times 1000, I like the decimal places to be three, isn't it? Yeah. So that, that one is our PMT. So it's here. I wanted to be clear there, isn't it? So this one is our PMT. So we've been told using a two way data table. So here is where we'll create a two way data table. And it's very simple, like here you just had type them in, like here I'll do, let me do 13. The way they have given me, isn't it? You can do 13 and you can do it the other way, either way, you can do 40, you can do 36, 48, 60, or you can, and uh, you do 13 up, down, or you just do them up like this. So I'll do 15 and also do 18, isn't it? And I'll come now to our to our our what's called to our terms, isn't it? And you remember we, we have been going from up to down to up. So we will go from 36 tab 48 tab and 60, isn't it? And so here, here we put our periodic payment because we are looking for the option that will be favorable to the investor between the three options. That's why I'm not including the other ones, isn't it? Because you are just looking for these three options. That's why I've not written 12. I'll do Alt H B C for top border, B L for left, for left one. And so I'll take the whole data as simple as we've done earlier, I go to data. I go to what if analysis. I go to data table. So I've been asked of the of the raw input, and remember, I'm taking from here. I'm not taking from here. So this one is the. 1315, this one is our, our rate, and uh, I think uh, we. It's good, I'll just check, because we are taking the percentages. And uh, also the column input. The column input is our number of periods, isn't it? The 48. Then I do OK. You can see, for, for the one we did, we did the 48, 48, 15. You can see that our table is not correct. That's why I was insisting that you check. 
you can see that our table because we did 48 15 our table is not correct you may ask why so because uh, up here we didn't enter percentages we just entered the value so here i rub that i do 13 percent trace tab i do 15 percent trace tab i do 18 sorry 18 percent isn't it and i select the data again i go to what if analysis data table no, our row input our row input is the annual rate and our column input our column input is the number of periods control enter you can see that now our data is correct you can you always check because we did uh, 1548 you can see 1548 is here isn't it so that it means our data is correct so you've been asked the most favorable to the investor you see the investor will be paying per month isn't it and uh, what he will like isn't it he will like to pay to pay a lesser amount isn't it but but you can see from our data table that 13% uh, and 16 actually is the list of uh, 44 12 but uh, the option of 1360 is not an option here because we have 1336 it's not an option here so this one is x even 48 13 is this one is x but uh, 1336 this one we have it so i'll color this one let me say i color it i color it uh, let me put that one there and uh, also 1536 there is no there the other one that is there it's 1860 this one isn't it so uh, from from the above three which one will the investor take he will, he will take the option which option is it option two because of 1860 you'll be paying 3809 per month and actually this one i told you they're in values are uh, they in thousands isn't it yeah 